Right, so we've done our colour exercises, we've warmed up, we've done a rough drawing, got subjects in hand and in a pot, or photographs if you prefer. I use a mixture of all. Um, and I put a little bit of masking on in the centres. Um, I like to use um, the grey masking fluid simply so as I can see where it is. Um, and I'm using a flat. So all I'm doing at the moment is sorting out what's white ish and what's not. And I'm observing the linear motion in the way that the flower is growing. Just being careful across these bottoms because water is the control. Paint will only go where you put the water. So let's change the brush. This is quite a big sable which holds a lot of water. Um, and I want a feeling of sunlight coming down. So this is going to be top lit. And remember how we applied the paint in the first exercise. Into wet paper. To observe that across there, that's quite a crucial point. Isn't it? Straight off the paper at the edges, we're not sure what's happening there yet. We just have somewhere to go. I know this is going to be cooler, but I want some of that yellow. This is a real one, which is very transparent and cool. And I'm wetting down and applying the paint down, so if I miss any bits, they're going in the right direction, it's not going to fight me. So let's just um, start to think about some greens under here. Keep it wet, find a dry bit. This is ultramarine. So all we're doing is a sort of organised version of what we did before. Have a look, have a think, watch that bubble. So we're sorting out the composition at this stage. Pick up a bit of iridium. No other reason than that I like iridium at the moment. And it's giving us a variance of tone to work into. Just introduce a little bit permanent rose. Sorry, upper rose. Just to grey this. Oh, another petal coming there, look. Don't be in a rush at this stage. So left with that bit, it's a bit dense. Dry brush. Roll. You want that soft diffused light up there. Wash some water and just disturb it a little bit. That action takes practice. 
and it depends on your brush. Sort out these shapes. Oh, and I ought to explain this, it, it broke and it's my favourite brush so it's, it's had a, a slight mend. But it's still okay. This is a bit of cobalt violet. I stay watching for things starting to develop. Whilst we have got a drawing, just to give yourself some, oh that's nice, confidence to start. It's not absolutely imperative. That's a sort of green acid colour up there. So this is Viridian dropping it into the Aurelian. Just stiffen the mix a bit. So I've got a bit more control. Two fussy shapes back in there yet. Starting to granulate. So we're a bit more in control now. Grey that down a bit. Don't leave clumsy edges, have a purpose. I think. Right, so whilst that's still moving, this is what you shouldn't do, which is introducing more liquid. Into a wash that started to settle. But I quite liked all the cauliflowers, it gives you they paint much better pictures than you ever will. It's a bit hard. So each area is a wash. There's no one colour in isolation on its own. So whilst that's thinking, let's start to think about what's happening inside here. Um, and find some pick up some of this colour that's lost and found edge sort of grey, greeny, pinky in there Strange colour really. Remember we've got a little bit of masking on there. Clean water. Remember the more colour you put on, the less white it gets. This is only the first wash though, so we can go back. and reiterate bits if we want to. That's not why I'm watering now. It's to be sort of it's better. Separate one from another. are cooler. I'm going to dry to a hard edge so I'm just giving it a natural point to finish too. A bit of quinacridone, 
から望みなりねそしてセントリアのいくつもスプラッシュのねディテールストーフどうしようねインファイナルステージSo let's just, this is starting to settle now. No doubt you want that. Oops. Which is a stage I like. It's a bit of indigo introducing now. I'll get a bit strong at this stage. Let's have a go. Got some over there, I've got to have some over here. Touching me. Definitely somewhere in there. You may or may not use all the drawing that you've done. Just do that for you. to this one. Just making sure these are not going to come back to haunt me. Okay. So let's have a bit of um oh not mixed on the brush there. Don't be quick to dab with the tissue, just lift it with your brush. Great down. And it can be fine. Just because you know you've made a mistake. Nobody else will. There is no mistakes anyway. We intended that all along. So a bit of warmth in there. Paint. Let's see what I think of this. This is your control, the uh, the old piece of town or whatever. Controls the water on the brush before it gets anywhere near. The precious paper. Okay, starting to go in a little bit. Let's bring some of these out. I think that's just a touch of pink in the centres. This is Opera Rose. It isn't really in there, but it's in the stem. Just think it is a little bit something. I don't need to come up with that yet. Let's change down the brush size a bit. This has got a slightly more pointy point on it. Technical term that pointy point. Marl stick, so I'm not, so I don't have to get really nose down to it, which would lose the spontaneity. So little touches now, less is more at this stage. Still watching all this, we can get as wild as we want in there. I want to get a little bit of form into these while it's still damp. Otherwise we'll be drizzling, mixing on dry paper which will give us those lovely accidents. 
accidents, which makes a lot better than we ever thought. So much colour in that's supposed to be white. It's just left some better. That's off edge we've lost that one a bit. Actually if we just drop some water in that might do the trick. Right, let's just I uh, don't like this bit here, what's happening? Soften that. Start to define this little little bud. They're quite green. But yeah. Oh, that's a nice green. Which is viridian and a touch of a real in it. So what's that? We're not doing a botanical study of it. It's just the shapes I'm interested in, really. Shapes I'm interested in. Tip of the brush. This is a bit damp. tighten up any of these if we get some nice things happening later on but it's not really the picture <laughs> that's Naples yellow which we didn't use in the first exercise but it's quite opaque so it hasn't got and it's quite viscous so it's got fairly well behaved, it's not where you put it. Okay, there's nice things happening here. Let's start to think about these big shapes here. Do we want any big shapes there? There's something I think. So this is Viridian. Playing in the pale water or something. I've got some nice, um, if you can see it on the camera, some nice striations on there, which are quite characterful. on the top to move it. Go like well that one's been really dark. Don't know why but it feels like it ought to be really dark. Right. Cobalt turquoise. Quite viscous consistency of single cream which means it's caught better two thirds pigment to water same combination of realin I think that wants to be quite well too Oops. so nice things happening now this is indigo and viridian I'm using this and this for shape preference only. And it's painting itself really. Put 
cut across some of these linens. A big blob then. Um, so let's just drop something in to break it. Watching the edges because if it worked, takes out an, a masterpiece, and I'm really pleased with it. I'm going to kick myself if I left a big gaping hole in one corner. So, if it was a square composition, I'm sort of in the mind working to a square. some edges and just smaller bits of dark now. More control, moving the hand further down the foil. Suggestion perhaps of another and something new, just tidying up these. Chewy, a nice white layer which I'm trying to stand in there so let's just do it just using bits and pieces that's actually on the palette not adding anything else don't go introducing something else at this stage clean water leave that a minute Bring our attention back up here, it's a bit wet. Um, we lost the whiteness somehow up there, so we'll just paint behind it and then we'll bring it back again. Remember each area has to be a wash, so we'll drop something else in. It's exciting. This is damp paint now. Two down from there, move somewhere else. Add down here. Here we are, empty, but let's just do down into it. Makes more sense. Put a negative in here, might be too wet. Want to lose the feeling of light on the top, so be a bit careful up here. The real in. Negative painting, sort of, it's a bit wet. draw into it now with what do you use that one? So we're picture making now. Doesn't matter what's going on here or what's going on here. What's happened is what's going on here. That's what matters. Like this, nice cauliflower's going on. Start to join up the make and make sense or cut through some. It's got a bit heavy. Um, that has, but I quite like it. So I'm going to leave it. Um, over, glaze over this area. It's a bit damp. Just some of the real in. Start to get a feeling of some white. strokes going in the same direction. Okay. So we need 
you get this on my skin off? A bit wet at the moment. So, just need that brush. As brush strokes in the direction that it's growing or curling, it's best as whiteness. Okay, so I need to let that dry now um, and then we can go on to the exciting bit which is bringing it all together and getting the masking fluid off. Just put a little bit more glue in there. It's always that just, I'll just brush stroke that ruins it off so it fiddles. Practice what you're preaching. Leave it. Right, so that needs to dry. 